so this video is for um, making an imposition document using Adobe InDesign and Illustrator. I'll be using CS 5.5. Um, doesn't really matter what version you use, the steps going to be pretty similar anyway. So to start with, everybody should be designing a layout of some sort in InDesign. So I'm going to make a new document in InDesign that we can then export to Adobe Illustrator to make the imposition. So I'm going to make two pages at A4 with 3 mil bleed, which is pretty standard. So we've got both sides here. So I'm going to, for this, just create the two sides with colour. One side and two sides. So one side is cyan, one side is red. So for those that already have the document set up, which is the assumption for this video, we need to export both sides of the document to a PDF so that we can then position it into Illustrator. So we need to first of all export it as a PDF. So we go to File, Export. So I'm going to name this Front. Um, I'm going to save it to the desktop. And you need to make sure it's set for um, Adobe PDF print as the format. So we're going to save the first side. Now in this window, the export Adobe PDF, we need to, because we're doing an imposition, for this document we've only got the two pages. So we need to select page one for the first save. doesn't matter what order you do it in, just as long as you have both pages saved separately. Um, we're going to want to make sure crop marks are selected. Um, I can't remember, but it, should, it shouldn't it should be marked when you first save it. So make sure crop marks are ticked and make sure use document bleed settings is ticked as well. So as you get your free mill bleed around the edge here, which is the red line. Um, everything else can be left as default. So we need to export the first side and we need to do the second side. So again, file export. I'm going to name this one back. Uh, desktop again, no PDF print, save. Um, this time in range, you need to make that side two. So that will be page two in your document. Um, again, make sure crop marks are selected and do use document bleed settings. Um, it should stay there from the last, but just check anyway. It's good to get into the habit of doing so. Um, so export. Now we've got both the PDFs on the document on the uh, desktop. Here, yeah. we need to drag this into Illustrator. Um, this probably won't appear for you. It's because my color set has changed. So, right, these are both, so this is the view you'll get, you won't get the other view. So these are both documents. Now, because these are A4 sheets, I want to imposition this onto an A3 sheet of paper so as I can keep my full bleed. So we need to make a new document, so go to file new so command n for the mac control n for the pc um i'm going to select a3 from the size and i'm going to remove the bleed because we don't need that because we've got the bleed around the document here the bleed on the imposition document isn't really needed um so okay that now I'm going to move across the first side, so the blue side. So what I want to do, because we're going to be aligning it in this new document, we need to group it. So select everything and then object group. So that would be command G on the Mac and control G on the PC. Um, and then we need to copy and paste. So edit, copy and then go over to the next document, the uh, the new one we made, and then edit, 
paste. So that would be command C, Mac, command V, Mac, and control C, control V for the PC. So with it still selected, we need to go to the align menu, which I've got on the right side here. If it's not there, then just go to window and then align here. Just select it and then it will pop up around this area here. So with this selected, I need to align it vertically and horizontally. So it is already pretty much in the center there. So we need to save this first side as a PDF. So we need to go to File, Save As. And I'm going to save it to the de uh, desktop again. And I'm going to save it as an Adobe PDF. And then I'll name it front print so make sure you got these settings and then save then you get this save adobe pdf now i generally tick these options off it keeps the file down file size down for large documents and it prevents any sort of issues and errors so i've had some times printing and some odd things have occurred um, so i just take turn this all off for safety um, you don't need to trim marks, this can stay ticked, you haven't got any bleed anyway. Everything else should be fine. Make sure on Adobe PDF preset you just set that to high quality print. And then just check all of this off again. So as it is empty, you could ignore if there's any errors, it doesn't really matter. Um, so save the PDF. You can just OK that. Right. So what you do next is just go into the back side of the thing you're trying to double uh, side print, select it, object group, so Command G, Control G. And then we need to copy that across, so edit, copy, so command C, control C. Then we need to paste it into this document, so that be edit, paste, uh, command V, control C. So again, make sure it's selected because it's grouped, you can just click the red area and it will select everything. And then align horizontal and align vertical. And then that's centered. So that is now centered with the blue. Um, the only time it's going to be misaligned is when you're printing. Um, I've had issues with print where it's been offset by about not even a mil, 0.5 of a mil. Uh, obviously, you're not really going to see that much of a difference. Um, so it's not a huge concern unless you've got text right to the edge, which you shouldn't have anyway. So we need to save the red side as a PDF. So file, save as. Now I'm going to name this one back. Print, save it onto the desktop. Um, again, select high quality print from Adobe PDF presets up here. Deselect this, check that none of this is done, and then you can save that and OK. And then what I always do as well is when I've got my document set up in here, I'll just um, go to File, Save As, and I will save an Adobe Illustrator file, which preserve this stuff here, the layers. And then I would just name that um, front back in position. So if I need to make any changes in the future, I make any, if I make any changes with the document, I can just keep that same sort of template and then just paste in and sort it all out from there. So I'll save that one to the desktop as well and keep all of this as is. So, yeah, 
then you've got your double sided document here which would be these two um, these two are different from the other PDFs because you've got the white border which is the actual paper fire size and then obviously the colour space so you've got your crop marks and stuff in here um, I may do another video on the printing I actually might do that so I mean I hope this helped um, any feedback on this would be great and I want to do some more in the future um, thanks for viewing cheers